Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a story time video. I don't know about you guys, but I love watching story time videos. I like the real juicy, interesting stories. I'm nosy just like you guys, I'm sure. So I decided to do this video because I figure since I like watching story time videos so much, you guys might enjoy this. So don't forget to check the description bar. That way you guys can tell me which story you guys want to hear next because I have a few that I want to share with you guys. And if you do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so my next story time you guys won't miss. And yeah, if you want to hear this video, then of course just keep on watching. So I'm like super chill right now. I need to wash my hair and I'm in my husband's sweater, which I actually really like. But anyways, so as you can tell by the title, the, oh, and I have... um. Little Miss Aaliyah down here with me. You might hear her because she's down here with me. But as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about the time that I got caught with a boy in the house. Now, I'm sure that this has happened to quite a few people. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to share with you guys what happened the day that I got caught. So basically, I was in high school. I think I was in like the 11th grade or something like that. And I was dating this guy. Uh, my mom knew, that, you know, my mom knew him. I was always with him and my, he was always over and I was always at his house but this particular time it was like a school night well it was a, it was a school day and the night before this happened um, I think I had a track meet because I ran track in high school so I had a track meet and I got back I knew I was going to be getting back from the track meet pretty late so I didn't want to ride the bus my mom used to make me and my sister ride the bus to school every day which we hated um, I absolutely hated so every time I could find a ride I would catch a ride so yeah, um, after this track meet, I told my mom that, and I, like the day, the day of the track meet, I didn't really get to see my boyfriend because, um, you know, you leave school early and stuff like that, and we didn't have like any of the same classes because he was a year ahead of me. So this day, um, I had a track meet. So yeah, we had a track meet. So we left early. So I knew I didn't. I wanted to see my boyfriend. So I told after I got home from the track meet, it was like probably like 10 o'clock at night, and I wanted I didn't want to wake up early in the morning. So I just told my mom that another guy was coming to pick me up in the morning for school. And this guy, we knew him from church. He was a family friend, and I kind of dated him. Well, I did date him for a, a very short period of time. Um, but my family trusted him and loved him. Blah blah blah. So I told my mom that this was the guy that was going to come and pick me up for school the next day. So of course she was fine with it and I was like, yes, plan is in action. So me and my boyfriend already knew that we wanted to see each other. He was going to come over. So yeah, the day comes. Yeah, we knew we knew we were going to see each other. So I told him that he can come pick me up for school. So um, when the day gets here, you know, everybody's going about their, their daily routine, their morning routine. And I kind of just like lollygagged around the house, I think. And um... My mom leaves before 8 o'clock and uh, my sister, you know, the bus, she caught the bus that day and my stepdad, he leaves the house like before 7. So, um, yeah, basically everybody was gone and I was just waiting around for my boyfriend to come pick me up. And my first period class, I think I was like a counselor's aide or something, so I didn't really have to be in first period. So I was like, I knew I could just waste my time a little bit. And um, so... He doesn't get, and I think he, like his class, his class didn't really matter either. I think he had like, um, gym or something. I don't remember. So, uh, it's like almost, I know first period passes and second period is like starting. So he gets to my house and you know, we're just like taking our time, just talking. And then like he, we had an upstairs and downstairs house at the time. So my boyfriend and me were like, you know, making out or whatever. So yeah, we were like making out on the couch and stuff and at this point I was still a virgin like I was kind of stalling because obviously we know what he wanted to happen and what I wanted to happen but I was still like scared and all that stuff. So I was like stalling and so at this point I want to say he took his shoes off and he had um, took his shirt off. He had like a, a tank top underneath so um, I was like okay I'm gonna go take a shower. And so I walked upstairs to my room, got myself ready for the shower, and I was like, okay, I'm going to take a shower. It's not going to take me long, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I'm in the shower, and I'm like washing up. I think I was washing my hair, and I called him. I was calling his name. I was like, I almost said his name, Lord. I called his name, and I don't think he answered. I needed something because my bathroom and my mom, it was like my bathroom and then my mom's bathroom, um, but then we shared the shower. So... I was calling him, oh, 
because I needed something out of like my bathroom because we kept our own things like in our own like underneath the sink so I was calling him he didn't answer and I'm just like what the heck and I'm calling him I think he I think he answered the first time um, but then the second I needed something else but I was trying to be slick you know like I'm in the shower don't you want to see me in the shower no so I called him a second time and he didn't answer it was just really really quiet so I'm like I'm thinking in my head like what is he doing so all of a sudden I hear boom 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 and I'm like and my and I hear Jasmine Jasmine what are you doing and I'm like I know the voice I recognize the voice and y'all guess who it was my stepdad, he was like, Jasmine, what are you doing? I was like, you know, me, I'm just like, I'm taking a shower. And he's like, why are you not at school? What are you still doing here? Why is, uh, why is he in here? And I was just like, I'm taking a shower. Um, he's picking me up for school today. You know, I was just trying to keep it cool, you know, because, I mean, we weren't, like, in the shower together or anything. So when I got out the shower, um, my boyfriend he was like well my stepdad he was like hurry up hurry up and get out and you know you need to go to school so i'm like oh god like why why me why today why did you come home today so um i got the shower and you know went about my routine but when i got out the shower my stepdad was still there and he was like why are you in the shower and why is he in here a what so basically, I told my stepdad, like, I'm just taking a shower. He's here to pick me up for school. And, um, but when I got out, so when I got out the bath and I realized, um, my boyfriend was sitting in my room with his shoes off, with his shirt off, and I'm in the shower. Like, are you, I guess he got scared when he heard that my stepdad was walking in the door because from upstairs and from where you come in the house, you can't really hear when somebody's coming in. So I guess he got scared and he was like trying to hide and run in my room. No, like that's the wrong thing you do. Sit on the couch and act normal, you know, but in the moment I guess he was like, oh shit, what am I going to do? So, um, yeah, he looked at like, it kind of looked like we were messing around and I was like in the shower after the fact, but no, we like literally nothing happened. And so, yeah, he ended up telling my mom and I got in trouble. Nobody could pick me up anymore. I had to ride the bus for a while until like they forgot about it. And yeah, so I got caught with the boy in the house. My stepdad was like, I knew something wasn't right. I knew I, um, I knew something wasn't right. That's why I came home, you know. And he came home and he saw my boyfriend's car in the driveway. So I was like, damn, you should have parked like down the street, like on the side, you know. But yeah, don't sneak and don't try to have your boyfriend come over because your parents will find out about it. Honestly, I think if my mom would have been the one to come home and catch my boyfriend over there, I think she would have been more, like, chill about it. Um, my stepdad, he's, like, really old-fashioned and really strict, so he was like, mm-mm, girl, you done screwed up, like, you done messed up. He, um, but, I mean, at the same time, I understand why he was mad, because what, you know, what dad wants to see their, their daughter with? A boyfriend or anything like that especially thinking that something just went on oh my god can y'all imagine like if something was going on and they walked in the house like I would never been able to live that down like so yeah guys that's what happened that's how I got caught with the boy in the house y'all hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check out the description bar for more video topics and yeah i guess i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys